back here at Morris, joined now by the Yale defensive coordinator, Ikaika Malloy. And coach, you were, as a player at the University of Washington, um, one of the awards you got, among many, was you know, hardest hitter. I'll give you one at the bowl. You might be the loudest person at the bowl on any given Saturday uh, from the coaching booth next to us. Yeah. But uh, talk about th this season. It has really been a strong season for the defense. Well, uh, I think, one, we have a, a veteran-type defense. Uh, they came back from last year. Uh, in the offseason, they all got better. You know, the one thing I, I learned about our defense this year is if all they want is the information. What are our opponents doing? How do we defeat them? How are we successful? And they've done a good job just going on and, and uh, executing what we asked them to do. One of the things you asked them to do was change style of play a little bit from a 3-4 type to a 4-3. And talk about how that's been implemented from your perspective. It fits our personnel better. Uh, we had the ability to put defensive ends as tackles, outside linebackers as defensive ends, uh, corners as safeties. So it made us faster in terms of team speed on the defensive unit. Uh, with the 4-3 stuff, uh, we could keep the same philosophies as a 3-4 defense. Our disguise is a little bit different in terms of instead of a front, more so with the safeties and the corners and what we're showing and what we're not showing. Uh, but from that part, everything else becomes fundamentals. You know, the tackling, uh, the leverage, takeaways, you know, those kinds of things. I think that became more important to us in terms of being successful in defense. One of the other things you employ is a substitution scheme to mm -hmm. keep people fresh and talk about the logic and the system that goes into that. Well, I think we're very blessed here uh, with the depth that we have. Um, one, every player that plays on that field has to earn it. Uh, not only have to earn it on defense, but also on special teams. If they, if they do not play special teams, they're not good enough to play on defense at the time. Uh, so with our depth, it allows us to roll people in, keep us fresh, uh, keep somebody going 100% all the time, and when it comes down to the fourth quarter and we have our best people on the field, we feel we have an advantage because we are more fresh than the uh, opponent. I wouldn't necessarily describe the Yale defense as bend but don't break, but there certainly have been times this year when it has been a bit but didn't break, and Jordan yeah. Haynes' play on Saturday would be a key example of that. They do it time and time again. Uh, I think you're right. You know, At some point in the game, we come uh, inconsistent in our fits and our execution, and they're starting to move the ball. But... When we get down to the red zone, I think our defense has done a great job responding to adversity, uh, making a stop when, when they should make it. And what we usually say is make sure you make the plays you're supposed to make. And on Saturday, I think they did. Coach, let's talk a bit about your background. And why don't you let the fans know where you came from before coming to Yale? Well, uh, born and raised in Hawaii. I played football at the University of Washington. Later in my younger coaching career is where I met Coach Williams at the University of Washington. He and I coached together. Our families came close. I uh, moved on in my career, so did he, and we always talked about it, including Coach Stark. Coach Stark and I worked together at the University of Washington, and we had this pack that if we ever had a chance to work together again as friends, uh, we wanted to do it. So in this business, you, you meet people that you consider friends, but uh, to, to work with what people you, you consider best friends, that very rarely happens. You know, so when that came, um, I jumped at the opportunity especially as a, at a place like Yale. Uh, Yale has a, a tremendous history that I'm still actually learning about it from players and fans. Uh, what makes it great here really is the people, uh, the, supporting, the supporting staff here, um, the players, the kids. What you find out you, you never expected at Yale, you find out it, it's just as normal as every place else. I really, uh, for me, I was almost intimidated. I mean, there's, there, this is a school that I could never get into. And, and now they're letting me coach here. You know, I'm, I'm coaching kids that, our brain acts, they're much more smart than I am, no question. But when you get to meet them as people, they're regular, they're regular people just like you and I. All right, Coach, and uh, Yale, Harvard, the, the final game of the season coming up. Yeah. What are your thoughts on that now that you've been through that one time? It's a, it's a great experience, I will say that. I mean, to, to play in the game, uh, one of the most important, if the, not the biggest rival that I know of, um, I'm, I'm a part of it. I'm blessed to be a part of it, and I want to do my part as a coordinator to make sure our kids are successful on Saturday. Um, but all I can do is prepare them. You know, the kids have done it time and time again. I know they'll do it again on Saturday. They're going to execute. Uh, they will win the game, not me. Not me. I'll just make a call and they'll do everything. Uh, and I expect good things on Saturday. All right, great, Coach. We'll let you go continue your preparation. Thanks for joining us. I appreciate us. it. Thank you, Ron. That's Coach Akaika Malloy.